Ongoing vulnerability detection, together with software and configuration patching, is a foundational component of modern security programs. The tools used to support this process are both mature and widely deployed in most organizations. But while most organizations invest in and utilize these tools regularly, as many as 60% of the organizations say that at least one recent data breach occurred when a patch was available for a known vulnerability but was simply not applied. When we dig into why, we uncover an important gap in the overall process. Let me explain. While security teams focus on blocking, identifying, and mitigating threats, IT operations teams, who typically own responsibility for patching, are busy focusing on business agility, continuity, and operations. In support of their respective objectives, most teams employ separate specialized tools for vulnerability assessment, and of course, patch and security configuration management, which results in each team operating independently. And while vulnerability and recommended patch information is widely available and considered to be quite accurate, few organizations patch systems using the specific recommendations that are provided. So while vulnerability management platforms are remarkably effective at identifying vulnerable software and reliably providing patch recommendations, few IT teams implement patches as recommended by these systems. Let's look at the three big reasons why. First, there is often an overwhelming number of recommended patches across the entire attack surface, making it nearly impossible to remediate every risk that is posed. This, of course, drives the need to prioritize the issues that matter most or those that result in the biggest risk to the organization. Second, in an effort to minimize downtime and performance impact, IT teams often further aggregate patches, combining multiple discrete vulnerability patches together with the deployment of other software and configuration updates. These consolidated patches can be more easily deployed and tracked and require less service interruption to deploy. The third issue is that this analysis and patch aggregation process is primarily a manual process for most, one that is tedious, error-prone, and time-consuming. This leads to delays in remediation, which is really at the heart of the issue. Oh, and don't forget that this manual process also wastes time for precious security and IT resources as they attempt to reconcile reports from vulnerability detection and remediation tools. But enough about the problem. Here are some suggestions for how to resolve these issues that can reduce the number of vulnerable systems in your environment improve patch times, and as a bonus, give time back to your IT and security teams. Integrating vulnerability scanners with endpoint management tools sets the stage for eliminating these challenges with the potential to offer dramatic improvements in vulnerability mitigation times while giving time back to IT and security analysts. When vuln data can be ingested into and analyzed by endpoint management tools, the manual process can be replaced with an accurate, consistent, and faster patching. So to start, we need tool vendors to work together. A great example of this is HCL and Tenable, who are automating the ingest of Vuln data into HCL Big Fix. Once the data is ingested, machine learning-based analytics help consolidate patches into more comprehensive, efficient releases. Security and IT teams will still want the details to be sure vulnerabilities are addressed so audit reporting is also available. Because many large organizations utilize multiple vulnerability discovery tools, the endpoint management solution should also be able to ingest data from multiple vendors. HCL Big Fix is another example that can do this. The integration of these two relatively mature technologies takes a bite out of patching delays, reduces the number of vulnerable assets, and returns time to IT and security analysts. Seems like a no-brainer to me.